tomorrow I'm gonna be sick as a dog. It's like a couple of bears grazing. What are they eating, Conrad? Blueberries? Blueberry? No, they're not blueberries. Blackberries. Blackberries. Uh huh. Mm. The yeah, wild yeah. blackberry. Where is all this Negroes? Here we have free food. Said, I got a down free there. fruits. <laughs> if this place wasn't good enough, they also have free food mid trail. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Free food with a wonderful view. It really doesn't get any better. Good to go. There you go. <laughs> Hooked an edge, all went down. The start of the trails are around 2,700 meters and ends at 1,800 meters. I made those trails 17 years ago uh, with my, my dad. Any, anybody can hear and uh, to ride a mountain bike, uh, enduro or downhill. And we can we can hostel you guys. You can we can give you the service food, and also I can shuttle you guys. And you can look at the, the Facebook or Instagram Extreme Bike Trails. That's our page. <laughs> that was a long downhill run. Yeah. That was my best one, that was a 818. 818. It's <laughs> good. Like, uh, like a lot of sports, you do more volume and lower intensity to start and build up. That's like one thing I, I tip I took from MTF when I was there at the motocross camp. Those guys would do like 40 minute motos. But on a, on a dirt bike, it's just easier to ride longer, but for a downhill, it's kind of hard to find a mountain that's twice as tall. Yeah. So we had a, we got a couple like windmill at Windrock's pretty good. Um, but this one's like a full downhill track. And it's, uh, like you can see like over eight minutes. So um, not riding like as fast as I can, but not stopping and like riding smooth. I think 
it'll translate well to riding the shorter tracks or normal tracks faster. What are we doing out here? It's my birthday. Short downhill runs. Just having some fun. We've got a big crew. And um, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out and riding. Okay. Yeah. Alro Hidago has these trails. This is his coffee farm. And they're super short. They're like all less than a minute long, but they're super fun. There's some big jumps and some sick turns. So it's a good time. challenge? No. What do you feel about the birthday riding? Sick. It was perfect. We just didn't really have any schedule. Just showed up late, rode for a while, and now we're going to go eat. So, pretty much a good birthday to me. You didn't even put sleeves on. Nah, just riding in my t shirt. Put those guns show. Free ride or die, bro. Free ride or die. <laughs> What's your birthday mindset today? I'm just not going to put my TPS reports in. That's pretty much all I'm thinking. So if you can just go ahead and not come in on Saturday, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Mental health day for sure. <laughs> no Garmin, no Lip Pro, no heart rate strap. No Lip Pro? No, analyzing no Lip Pro data. Why are you even riding? I mean, it's as if I never even showed up. <laughs> Did you enjoy your free day? Oh yeah, it was awesome. Woke up at like 9 o'clock, didn't leave the house till like noon. Played my phone for a while. Not typical. <laughs> How do you feel about three days during your training camp? Is it good? Uh, I think it's out? necessary. Yesterday we were getting pretty run down. We did all of our long downhill runs at Providencia for like the fourth day. And after like gym and everything, we were just beat. So, mi amigo, sono audio. Oh. <laughs> si. Mi amigo. <laughs> <laughs> What a good manager. I know, I'm doing the best I can. Team manager. Loading the bikes, driving us around. Taking you to the pharmacy. Taking me to the pharmacy. Aww. Giving you food. <laughs> I don't have a job title. Team manager, support crew. It might be support crew. Oh, you're an athlete. Athlete. Fix the fluffer. Is this true? <laughs> I'm just ready for some coffee. <laughs> Doing some testing, going through some parts that I wanted to try. Been going through some stuff this week, and today we're gonna do. We got three different wheel sets with all different um, diameter spokes. So, gonna try see if we can notice a difference between 1.6 and 
1.8 and 2.0 spokes. Those are Lando's. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Sorry, no speak. No speak, it's funny. I'm not looking forward to this pullout. Clutch is on its last leg. And I'm not good at pulling out on uphill. I'm not good at pulling out on the But yeah, this track is the best downhill race track. It's like the roughest. There's other tracks here that are super fun, but this one's probably the closest to like a real rough downhill race track. So it's good to come here and do a bunch of testing. It's like there's no rocks or anything, but it's just so rough because everybody rides it. They have the national champs here, they have a, a coast drinking open. Here. So it's got the gnarly breaking bumps. It's super rough from that. Did I say everything I need to say? Here we go. Oh, I'm away. Yeah, I mean, it's recording, I can see it. Hold it a little bit further away from you, so not that far. Work? Come here. What's happening? What, what are you doing? Getting back to our roots of working on a bicycle upside down in the parking lot. Well, we're in South America. Um, no, we're testing wheels. Three different wheel sets, different spokes. Three different spokes on each wheel set? Yes. <laughs> How do you know when to put the other one? Like alternating and then one different one on each side? You should randomly put them in. You can't be this calculated. Like a like, house of cards. If you're going to do things like that, you can't be that calculated. <laughs> so we, got a, uh, we got a wheel set with uh, 1.6 spokes. Yeah, 1.6. You see it? Uh, same um, everything except for spokes on a 2.0 set. So same pop, tire, and insert. Mm -hmm. And then the same setup with 1.8 spokes. What kind of performance are you looking for out of a spoke? Lightweight. No, I'm just getting out on a downhill wheel. Compliance, comfort, durability. As a mechanic, durability. Oh yeah, I know, I know. But, uh, What's the yeah. plan here, boys? Uh, trying to put all these bags in this small bed. What if we went out like here and, and then put, put the, the strap around, around and then we put one in the front? Oh, the other way in, stay. We were say hi. <laughs> Yo, you filming? This is Jack Spielberg style where you just turn the camera on and expect me to speak. We're going home. Costa Rica trip. Finito. It was mucho bueno and now it is finito. Super productive. Um, at home it was cold and raining and snowing the whole time so we didn't really miss much there. And I got in a lot of really good training as well as uh, 
bike setup stuff. So it was good on all fronts. Last time I bought some of these, I had them for two weeks. Wore the shit out of them. Wore them like inside and stuff because I liked them so much. And then I left them in a rental car. Two weeks. 